70% adults between the age of 30 to 70 get blind because of diabetes and that is called a manifestation of diabetic retinopathy what is even more dangerous is not the ones alone who got blind but others who are progressively building towards that over a long period of time with vision being normal and they are sitting on an atom bomb which can burst anytime so get ready to understand more about diabetic retinopathy now we will discuss four problems in diabetics related to the eyes blurry vision cataract glaucoma and retinopathy let's start with blurry vision blurry vision is one of the initial symptoms of eye problems in diabetics this is because of swelling and distortion in the lens and it's largely reversible our eye lens if it gets swollen up distorted we will have blurry vision which can happen because of high sugars and change in the pressure of the fluids inside the eyes second problem is cataract which is commonly known uh, for its milky white growth inside the lens and this is a very easily treatable problem uh, it can be removed through a minor surgery and a nice lens can be placed and suddenly those who are in their 60s and 70s they start feeling young oh my god it's it's everything's appearing so clearly i still remember uh, my grandmom once we did her cataract operation she said why didn't i do it earlier so cataract is not a major problem easily treatable third problem is glaucoma whereby the pressure inside the eyes of the fluids not being drained properly due to damaged blood vessels that pressure starts increasing and that itself can create a lot of nerve loss vision loss watch out if you're getting headache you're getting eye ache you're getting watering in the eyes you're feeling halos around the lights or there is vision loss happening this also requires a regular measurement of the eye pressure and certain drops very much treatable but need to watch out the fourth problem is the most important problem diabetic retinopathy which again has three types background retinopathy maculopathy and proliferative diabetic retinopathy which is the most dangerous background retinopathy involves the retina which is the back part of the eyes over there some problems happening whereby your vision starts getting affected in background retinopathy there is some damage to the blood vessels but the vision largely remains okay so one in fact remains in an illusion that everything is fine so in case if you're diagnosed with this get your sugars under control immediately and start treating it because it can really progress to major problems diabetic maculopathy affects the macula macula is that area of the eye on the retina which directly is connected to what you are reading when you are driving when you require focus the macula needs to be really clean and clear like i am looking at you right now i can see you straight you can see me at the same time there is a lot more you can see around your peripheral vision so the focus central vision is connected to the macula and if this part starts swelling up then your vision will directly get affected can become difficult to treat if left untreated for a long period of time surgery may be needed so be careful of maculopathy last one most dangerous one diabetic proliferative retinopathy and that happens when the blood vessels on the retina the back side of the eye don't get enough oxygen and then they start proliferating they start creating new blood vessels around those blood vessels to gather more and more and channelize more and more blood creating blood clots 
cotton wool spots as it's called with blood oozing out of them scarring and then slowly the detachment of retina starts away from the eyeball and then if bleeding happens in between that very difficult to treat there are laser treatment there are surgeries available but earlier you started the better because 100% result may not happen when proliferative retinopathy sets in so what is the take home message and it's very simple even if your vision is normal as a diabetic get your eyes checked every year once because you never know how slowly the background retinopathy or maculopathy or proliferative retinopathy or glaucoma or cataract or blurry vision can start that's very important second of course keep your hb1c below 7 and there is enough evidence that if you keep your hb1c which is your blood sugar average of three months under control progression to eye problem reduces coupled with great nutrition because we want good nourishment to happen and eyes cells to rejuvenate wonderfully it will be very very useful for all of us so treat our eyes with a lot of care uh, get the checkups done invest in reversal because overall when diabetes starts reversing even eye problems can start reversing and we've got eye surgeons from Pune testifying that because some of our patients when they went back to them after being on the program they were shocked to see the improvement in the retina we had also purchased an eye scanner long back when physically the office was functional much before covid and we also found almost 10 to 12 scans where the retina had improved so diabetes is reversible FFD is helping thousands of people reverse it, become free of medicines and also reverse the eye conditions. So invest your time, energy, attention, intention in understanding how to get back this dreaded disease and all the complications under control. Follow the links, be with us and let's together beat diabetes and actually avoid all these dangerous complications. Bye-bye and see you soon.